Hello everyone and welcome once again to Indigo Distribution's video guide series. My name is Boaz from the tech and training team of Indigo Distribution and today I'd like to talk to you about something very interesting. The Fusion Research Duet. Now what is the Fusion Research Duet? It has a lovely website you can see on the screen right now. The Fusion Duet is a media streamer. Three streams in one box, which is very nice. Uh, it is quite comparable to the HEOS, the, um, the Yama Music Cast of the world, but what it does uh, better are two things. First of all, the LAN integration is much, much better because the driver is being developed, co-developed by both Fusion and by LAN because they have a great partnership together, so you know you get the best integration and the best support. Now, what else do we have here? Well. They have a contractual agreement with Spotify, the world's leading uh, streaming service in the world. So all your customers, I can uh, I can tell you for a fact, they are using probably Spotify. But this is the only uh, the only streamer in the world that we know of that you can stream through Spotify. You can browse through Spotify playlist, artists, albums, songs, tracks, whatever you want within the LAN app. Everywhere else. You know, you have a uh, Yamaha Musicast, you may have a, a, a Denon Hios, you go to Spotify and it'll give you, on the Elan app, it'll give you a, light, a nice little uh, notice, go to your phone and use Spotify Connect. Instead, what Fusion Research does, instead, it just gives you the ability to, to browse your playlist, browse your uh, artists, browse your whatever you want within the Elan interface itself, which is such a a great tool because your customers your end users don't need to you know jump through another app or all that all that stuff it's all within the Elan ecosystem all right so that's pretty cool let's open this little box up what do we have here well first of all a few accessories we're going to talk about them let's before I go that let's let's make this bigger I mean right we gotta see everything so there you go. In the box you have rack ears. Yep, it's rack portable, which is great. Let's drop the box to the floor. Let's open this. What do we have here? Yep. As you can see, we have a power cable, USB, alright, with a USB pin as well. We have, ooh, what's this? That's interesting. That's a USB DAC, digital audio converter, and these. Now what does it do? That's very simple. You put it here, and voila, now you have RCA, because one of the streams is actually, it's actually USB. Okay, so that's why you need the USB DAC to, to convert it from digital USB to analog RCA. Interesting, right? All right, so let's take a look at this one. A nice little um, protection has all these bubbly things. Oh, it's so sticky. There you go. Oop, I'm going to throw this to the floor. And there we are. This, start with the front. This is the Fusion Duet. It's very nice. It's 19 inch, so that's rack mountable. It's very it's it's lovely lovely box lovely everything it's rather light i would say but yeah it's a bit of a there's a weight there but i i like it it's it's sturdy it's nice it's well ventilated as you can see mm -hmm. very nice what's in the box what's in the back sorry well let's take a look what's in the back well first of all we have power 5 volt dc power we have output 1 which is rca output 2 which is rca we have a usb which is meant for one um, an audio output so you can with a DAC so you can have actually three streams but it can also be a USB input for an external hard drive so if you buy an external hard drive you can actually use iTunes to create an iTunes library within your external hard drive and you know uh, you can add more songs later it doesn't matter but now you have an ex an ex an a, a local offline library of songs that you can choose from and browse through everything which is great and of course we have the network because this is a network device all righty this is very lovely i'm gonna go and pick it up and uh, connect it to power connect the network and then we'll take a look what else 
we have in store for the fusion. Be right back. And we're back again. I've connected my Fusion to power and to the network. And now I should be able to see it on the network with the Ovation Utility conf config. Sorry, the Ovation Configuration Utility. Ooh, that's a mouthful. So let me just make myself smaller now because you don't really you don't really need to see me. But what you do need to see is the Fusion the uh, research website. So if I go to the music solutions, I can look at the solo, which is the is the big bro the small brother of the duet and the duet, which is the big brother. But what I need is the support and then music server support because we are using the music server. And here is the setup for the configuration utility download where you can download the Ovation utility um, configuration. So there you go, the Ovation configuration utility. I click right here and there you go. Immediately it will find any Fusion device, any duet, any solo on the network. Now, not only that, but using the address book, you can actually log in to, ex to remote sites. Okay, all you need to do are two, three things pretty much. The external IP address, uh, ports 22 and 9720 forwarded to the Fusion. And there you go. Now you'll be able to log in remotely anywhere around the world. Very easy to do. Like I said, ports 22 and 9720. But again, um, if, you need to, um, if you need to do any remote access, come talk to us. We'll, uh, we'll guide you through the process. What we do have here is this, the uh, Fusion that's on the network. So I don't need to know the IP address. I don't need to know anything about the Fusion. The moment I connect it, this is where the, disc the discoverability is uh, possible. The Ovation discovers it immediately. All I need to do, you can see it's a Duet Plus. I can select it. And there you go. Now we'll start to check for uh, operating system updates. I don't need to because I've already updated everything. I want to make sure that uh, this video go run smoothly uh, as you can imagine. So I'm going to close this right now. And there you go. So this is the configuration utility, right? I downloaded it from the fusionrd.com website and now I can set up well, quite a lot of things here. So let's start with the basics. Okay, first of all, it gives me what the network status is. It's going to be the HCP. I'm going to show you in just a moment how to change it to a static IP address. The number of players, their names as well. And you can see zone one, zone two, which is the first two streams, and then the USB stream as well. The status of the engine, it's running. That's a, always a good sign. And the various, um, the various stream streaming services so pandora sirius xm sound machine which are mostly american as well as iArt radio mostly american uh, stuff because uh, fusion is american but spotify yeah spotify is what we definitely want so let's go here click on file see what's, what we have here um, so we have file there you go reconnect to a server if we've for some reason disconnected disconnect about the server giving you some um, these details who no one really cares. Uh, if I click here, however, the about, I can actually put it on expert mode, which gives me a bit more uh, more uh, things to uh, look about. Not very interesting, but just want to make sure you are aware of this. So if we go to the manage, I have quite a few things here. Let's uh, let's unpack everything we see here. System time is literally the system time. What kind of time zone are you at? The default is the PST, Pacific Standard Time, because like I said, this fusion comes all the way from California, so Pacific uh, system, uh, Standard Time. Schedule and X control, not really needed because we are integrating the fusion into Elan. So with schedule, you can actually schedule the streamer to turn on a specific time, but who cares? You have Elan for that, right? Um, uh, so we instead, we're going to go for the network first and then uh, the two things. First of all, the interface, you can set it on a DHCP or static IP address. So IP address, ask, gateway, DNS, the works. Um, two things about this one. First of all, we definitely, definitely, definitely uh, recommend to use uh, Google DNS or OpenDNS. OpenDNS is actually a bit better, we've learned, as a DNS server. Secondly, uh, out of the box, this comes at DHCP, but please, 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 I'm not going to do that here because this is just a demo video, but please make sure that all your fusions are on a static IP. Why is that? Because That's because when we go to the LAN section, you will see that, um, that the, the fusion driver in LAN is set to look at a specific IP address. And that means that if for some reason if DHCP and the router decides to change your IP address, there you go, Elan can't communicate anymore with the Fusion. So I think static IP is actually the most important bit you can do over here. 
DHCP reset, if for some reason you screw up a little bit with the um, network settings, do not fret, there's no reset button. However, if the, uh, the Fusion, if the Duet can't uh, find um, a network within 300 seconds, or we could do it to 100 seconds, doesn't matter. Uh, if the Fusion doesn't find a network within 100 seconds, it will actually revert back to DHCP. So, if for, exa for example, my IP address uh, here in, in my home is 192.168.1, but if, for example, I put 192.168.0.25, whatever, um, by mistake and put in and apply, the Fusion is like, I'm sorry. This network, I don't have a, I don't have a network here. It's it's wrong IP address, and um, I will not have any more. I will not have any more um, a access to it because it's not on my subnet, not on my uh, on my um, um, on my range. But after three hundred or four hundred seconds, or you decide, the fusion says, "Ooh, I don't have a network. Let me go back to the ACP." So you, you're never really losing. Uh, your fusion, which is actually quite clever and good. So I'm gonna close this one, and this is the important bit. Players, yeah, you can see the the three players. You can restart them, stop all of them, see their status, which is running. Yeah, it's not very like right. being obviously it's not really who cares. But what we do care about are these two things. First of all, the streaming music services. Here you can set up the the radio, the Pandora, Sirius, but most importantly, Spotify. We used to use the Spotify plugin. Now we use the Spotty plugin, right? Which is actually quite easy to do. So uh, my colleague James was very um, uh, was very kind to share with me the um, his username and password for his uh, Fusion. So for his story, Spotify. So. And then let's see if that works. There you go. That's it. It's done. You have you have Spotify in Fusion. See how easy it is, right? Um, clean up tags is recommended. Account switcher is not recommended. You can actually add multiple accounts just fine. I wouldn't really, really worry about these settings. If you need another account, you may say you have a family with multiple accounts. All you need to do is really just add. That's it. It's done. Add more. Uh, and you'll have ID A, B, C, D, as many as you want, really, right? which is pretty cool. So I'm going to click OK. Right. Yep, the audio engine may need to be restarted, which is fine. We're going to restart it a bit later. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, we have the accounts, right? If you want a tune-in account, actually, you don't really need to. Tune-in actually works without an account very well. And my Squeezebox account. So if you want Deezer and Tidal, which are under the My Squeezebox service, you will need to create a My Squeezebox account and put your premium Deezer, premium Tidal, accounts within that my squeeze box accounts it's like a nest of nesting dolls of accounts like then you have deezer and then you have the squeeze box and then fusion it is what it is that's how it works that's how the logitech media server technology actually works which is absolutely fine uh, all you really need to do is go to the my squeeze squeeze box um, website create an account put in the details and you're pretty much good to go here the uh, scope of this video i'm not going to touch my squeeze box it's a bit of a yeah, I'm not going to touch it, but it is relatively straightforward how to do it. Last but not least, we have the external music drives and the remote music sources. So the external music drive, you can use a USB external hard drive to put in all your local songs. Maybe your customer, maybe yourself have, I don't know, a, a big library of, um, of RIP CDs or a, oh, anything, doesn't really matter. Uh, and you want to make sure that all this great library you can use through your LAN app, through your, your Fusion. It's actually quite easy to do. You need to buy an external hard drive, which is one terabyte, two terabyte, and you can format these songs within the iTunes library, and thus the Fusion can actually um, uh, can actually see that library and play it over the LAN driver, which is actually quite cool. And then we can uh, do the same, but with a network attached storage, a NAS drive have your songs in an S drive and then stream them through here so if you if your customers are are, um, are into uh, offline libraries as I say not just streaming off the internet but la literally have those songs available to you locally this is what you want the external music drive or the remote music drive for an NAS.
All right. What else do we have here? Not a lot, actually. Um, you can check for the updates, of course. You can install uh, components. You can see here, like literally install just the system core, just the um, the Crestron stuff, or just the squeeze light or the LMS, the Logic Media Server. Honestly, uh, all you need to do is click check for version updates. It'll do everything for you. Reboot, power off, reboot. You know, it's all uh, the same. And do, 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 do. we have logs, we have prints, preferences, anything. I'm trying to think of something that will actually be um, relevant to you guys. Um, Samba and SSH, both of these are method to uh, remote log into the um, uh, Ovation, to the um, Fusion. But again, we are using Elan, so we don't really need all of that stuff. What we care about is actually go to the Integration tab and then Custom Home. But we're going to talk about that after we add the Elan uh, driver to the list. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna minimize that. I'm gonna go back to the fusionrd.com website and actually go to the drivers tab and then to the Elan tab. Now I've already downloaded my, uh, my driver, so that's absolutely fine. But if I wanted to, I can go here and um, edit. And you can see here I've already um, downloaded the Fusion zip file and then the integration notes again already downloaded you can see them here they're actually quite useful so I would definitely even if you if you if you've seen this video that's great I would still go and read the integration notes for Fusion because there there are trove of information all right so there you go so now that I've added I've downloaded my Ovation and set it all up here and then I download the driver it's time to look at the line. All right, let's take a look. I have a brand new system over here for you. This one, it doesn't have a password, so I don't need anything. And there you go. Here's my um, here's my LAN system. It's a GSC2. It work the, the Fusion driver will work with pretty much anything. GSC100, GSC2, GSC10, you name it, you'll work with it. All right. Uh, this is my current software, uh, firmware. As of as of right now, actually, it's not on the latest firmware. The latest firmware came out last week, 8.5.18. But regardless, it'll work um, um, in any firmware. The minimum firmware, um, well, not really said here, but I would say it's around 8.4, maybe 8.3. But again, make sure your uh, LAN is updated before you go into uh, any programming, especially the Fusion. So let's take a look at the media tab because the media tab is where we have. But before that, actually, no, I remembered. I have quite a few installers uh, who bought Fusion, and actually, Fusion is such a great tool. I, lo I love it. Uh, but it has, uh, like we said, the Logitech Media Server. All right? Let me uh, let me add the uh, System Network, the Discovery tab. Let me activate it because I want to show you something very interesting. So because the Fusion is based on Logitech Media Server, not based, some of it is Logitech Media Server. You will see something very strange when you first come in to the Discovery tab. Let's take a look. So now that the um, Discovery tab is populated, you can actually see, there you go, the Fusion on dot one ninety nine. Oops, there you go. It's actually going back to the, uh, when I click on the IP address, but it's available for installation. Now, don't do that. Do not do that. I've had many uh, installers actually did that. Say, oh, it worked. That there you go. I don't need to do anything else. It's, I just need to install it uh, over the Discovery tab. But that the, just adds the LMS, the Logitech Media Server driver, which we don't want. We want the Diffusion driver, which is much, much better. All right. So instead of doing this, we're going to go to the Media tab. All right. And we're going to go click here on the communication devices and your communication device. And there you go, Fusion Ovation Server. However, this happens because I already have the LAN saying, oh, go look at the downloads tab, or downloads folder, sorry. So uh, if, I, if I just have a brand new um, LAN controller, I will actually go need to go to the sources, add a new generic media source, click on search folder, and actually tell LAN where to look for new drivers so yeah it's already on download that's great i'm gonna key here cancel now right click fusion here let's see let's say i'm actually going to say go here to the lan icons folder say cancel right click a new no fusion all right that's very important you need to remember where you downloaded the the, um, the fusion driver and where and how to set Elan to look at this particular driver. So again, downloads, there you go. 
right click add communication device and you can see the fusion is here why did I do that through sources very simple do you see the search folder um, button here no okay so just as a workaround we're gonna do it through sources very easy so now that I've add the fusion server all I need to do is press OK and there you go IP address available for us and now I need to make sure that the IP address is the one 99 remember we've already looked at it if you don't remember all you need to do is go back to the vision uh, configuration utility and you can see the IP address over here 99 very simple so I'm gonna click apply and then I'll click add players let's add the players and wait a few seconds and there you go you can see now there's a plus sign next to my sources because sources have been added all right let's give uh, the alarm time to think a little bit and there we are so first of all we have zone one zone two zone three all of them on the same IP address which is great that's what we want we also have something very interesting we have zone one as actually a zone controller and zone two as a zone controller now why is that uh, first of all that's uh, because the driver also works with the PA1 the fusion PA1 the fusion PA1 is just like the fusion duet that is it's a streamer but it only has one source but more importantly it has amplification right so any any device that has amplification will need a zone controller right to actually make it work for uh, for us to see it in the in in the LAN UI just like we would need some sort of amp like the LAN 1616 uh, rest in peace or the LAN uh, Dante IPD MTXA channel so that's why we have this here but since we are looking at a we're looking just as a um, a non-amplified duet the duet plus these we're just going to ignore them okay they don't exist for us All right so we have zone one zone two zone three and um, then we have the volume sync okay the volume sync let me show you here for zone a to f a b c d f and d uh, the 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 point of them is again when we have multiple p a ones multiple um one zone one source streamers and you want to actually sync them all together to get them to uh, work together and um, um, and uh, have a full party so to speak but again the PA1 is actually quite new and uh, we're gonna have a full video just about that so again just like the zone controller we're gonna ignore them so we have the zone one two and three these are our sources so if I go right now to my viewer I already have the media tab but that's because I have these zone 1 and 2 these these zone controllers which again they're only relevant for the PA1 the amplified uh, fusion streamer they're not relevant what when I'm using a duet I will need my very own amplification so instead I'm gonna go here and use zone controller and I'm gonna use I'm just gonna use for sake of nostalgia I'm gonna use the LAN 1616 the old the old reliable amplifier by Landy, sorry, not amplifier, it's an audio matrix, which is absolutely, it was just absolutely great. I loved it. So we're going to wait just a moment. And here we are, these, the list of zone controllers. I'm just going to click on LAN over here and the LAN S616 single chassis and press OK. Now, obviously, this isn't an actual device. I'm just using it to show you how you would add uh, the Fusion to and any other amp, be it the Dante Matrix, be it any other audio matrix or, uh, or amplifier that actually works with the LAN. So I'm going to click here, Sources, Source 1 would be Zone 1. I can give it these inputs, doesn't really matter. Source 2, I'm going to give it Zone 2. And these inputs again doesn't really matter this is a virtual uh, audio matrix and even so zone 3 even the USB like you can see here like I showed you already there you go a USB DAC connected to USB output into RCA and you're done right just make sure however to put it on the right a output because there is a microphone output input and a um, 
and an audio output. Okay, just make sure if you don't need your audio from from the third output from the USB output, make sure you're on the right uh, output over here on the DAC. But regardless, we're gonna continue on taking a look over here. Yep, I'm gonna apply that. That's absolutely great. So every time I highlight one of these, again. The actual source is highlighted, you know how LAN works. If I wanted to change, I can change a stream one, for example, stream two, or you know what, let's call it, I don't know, guest room music. If you want to maybe make sure that different streams actually work with different zones and stuff like that, yeah, you can do it like that. Very easy to do. I'm gonna go to the zones right now. I'm gonna use this as a test zone to make sure I got everything sorted. Again, um, these are this is I'm I'm running through this because you already know how to do this. If you are here with me, uh, you're already LAN trained. Yeah, I can add an icon if I want it by clicking here. Select icon. There you go. Let me go and select something rather simple. There you go. Music. There you go. Um, otherwise. Everything is pretty straightforward. It's a source, just add it to any zone controller and you're done. Now, why I'm actually doing this for you, I want to show you how we can actually even further customize the Fusion, um, the Fusion UI. So I can go here to my Elan viewer, click on the media tab, and now you can see I have uh, the, the two uh, fusion zone controller, which is, we're not going to touch because again, this is not an amplified zone. This is an unamplified zone. The fusion does not have intrinsically does not have an innate volume control. Very important to know about that. But what we do have is a cess zone over here. We have stream one, stream two, and guest room music, all pretty much the same. Well, they're all the three outputs of the same duet. So I'm going for stream one over here. So I have well, what's this? I have tune in, of course can go right now and um, search or look at um, local radio for example the stations absolute 80s there you go my wife loves the 80s so click on here and I'm gonna get the 80s and uh, playing all the metadata in just a moment now what else we can do we can add a favorite so let me just click here on the heart to add a favorite shall we Now remember we added we added it as a favorite because we're gonna get there in just a moment. So there you go. If we go back and there you go, absolute eighties is being played. And the moment I've added the favorite, there you go, a favorite button. The star is over here. If I click here, there you go, absolutely absolute classic rock, and I can go and look at it whenever I want. And uh, without going into searching and all that. Now, no metadata, hey, so no artwork. There is metadata, of course. Of that's because I haven't set the DNS My name is correctly. Today we're okay. going to talk about and the two that's and just how it works. System. That's why I said the always, always, always make sure you have a static IP address with open DNS or Google DNS as your intercom DNS intercom because, like you see here, no metadata. Maybe later I'm going to uh, offline um, and set up a static IP with uh, OpenDNS and just show you a screenshot of how it looks like without the um, uh, with the metadata, with the artwork. Regardless, we have here, this is, I think, services. We have Spotify and we have uh, my apps, which is like all these. But again, this looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Why should I, if I want Spotify, why should I go to services and then Spotify? What, what's going on? Aha, well, I can actually right. change whatever so we see here. So all Welcome I need to do is go back to the Ovation, on click on Integration, and then Custom Home, right? And now Let's go. I can have a custom uh, customize zones 1, 2, 3, or all of them, the default. So if I want, I can say, hmm, I don't like this. I'm going to go and go Streaming Services and put Spotty. And then, there you go, Selected Entries. Uh, if I go to other, I go to the internet radio and favorites. And you know what? Um, well, I won't really see anything else because I haven't I haven't configured Sound Machine or Pandora or Sirius XM. But if I did, you would see it over here, Sirius XM uh, options. So I'm gonna keep it anyway. We'll see how it, how it looks like. Then I click on save. And now, now what I actually did was I made sure that the LAN driver will see only these, okay? 
so you can customize exactly which zones sorry which sources which streams are available to your customer maybe if you, maybe it doesn't even use favorites you know maybe it uses the favorites the most so I'm gonna put it actually at the, at the first the, the leftmost all right click Save all right now I need to go all the way over here where was I, I was on uh, stream one right all the way over here and click refresh home right so the moment I did that there you go all right favorites Spotify tune in like I said we have um, we added the Sirius XM as a button but unless you actually added an account to Sirius XM and obviously I haven't you won't actually see that so if I wanted to say so, mm, that doesn't look very nice maybe I want Spotty to be at the top again I'm gonna save click on refresh home and immediately it changes okay and yeah you can see that the metadata is working just fine you can see which song is being played right now on uh, on uh, 80s but no meta no artwork that's again because of DNS issues all right so don't worry about that uh, on this demo if you set open to open DNS correctly you will see all the metadata all the artwork that your hearts desire all right, I think, oh, no, 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 that's not all. That's not all. I want to show you the event mapper. So, for example, let's say I have, I don't know, a, I want to have an alarm, for example. And I want to have an alarm that every time, uh, let's say, let's call it alarm, every time on 11 a.m., right? 11 a.m., I want something to happen okay 11 5 11 whatever all right and and I want to be weekly on Mondays and Wednesdays that's when I get it to work I don't know whatever so I go here there you go alarms over here that's great now I'm going all the way here to the event mapper we're going to create a new event map. So for those of you who don't know, event maps in Elan are macros, literal ways for you to customize and automate everything in your system, like an alarm, for example. But not just an alarm, it's going to actually play a song, play, sorry, a radio station from Fusion. So I'm going to call it, oops, can't type, alarm. I'm going to add a event, which is the alarms, alarm, and it is enable sorry executed i think that's the that's what i want so at actually at 11 a.m it will execute there you go now i'm going to go here to add go all the way to if i remember correctly it could be media system zone one execute favorites and there you go okay so any favorite you put anytime you go to i don't know for example your spotty and say my playlists for example say this is a um, godfather of harlem right whatever anything you like maybe i don't know um, genres and moods well, it doesn't really matter whenever you favorite a song or a playlist let's say this one for example better in black by thelma plum whoever that is i don't know um, go here and again just need to refresh it and there you go now whenever you want you can wake up with better in black your favorite favorite song of all times by just doing here and you can see you can have event maps for whatever okay maybe you have a button on your screen that uh, pl plays a specific playlist or anything you want really all right. that's the beauty of Elan. You can automate whatever you want, and Fusion gives us this information. It, it opens up the API for the event map to execute favorites and do all sorts of weird and wonderful things. All right, that's yeah, that's everything to know about Fusion. I hope there's uh, obviously a, I'm happy to uh, have any questions you might have about uh, Fusion, about Elan, about pretty much anything. I've been Boaz from Indigo Distribution Tech and Training. Thank you very much for your time. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. And thank you for viewing. Goodbye.